very warm welcome to Daily Dispatch powered by HSBC. I'm Priya Shade and joining me on this conversation is Sumit Ghosh from Chingari. Thank you very much, Sumit, for joining us today. I want to talk about the $15 million fundraise that you have recently completed. What does this mean for the company and how will the funds be utilized? Sure. Uh, thanks, Priya, for having me uh, in, in your show. Um, well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this was part of the fundraise that we were concluding uh, around our series a uh, so this is just an extension to the uh, series a round um, primarily these funds will be used for uh, you know tracing the tech team like we are on hiring spree doubling down on uh, both on the crypto side uh, of, of, of gari as well as on the machine learning backend engineering of chingari Right. Uh, you spoke about the crypto side of Shingari. I think that is an interesting aspect. I do also do believe that the last round of funds were raised by crypto tokens. Um, so tell us a little bit about what the kind of plan is on the crypto front. Sure. Uh, yeah, so uh, we actually recently listed the token. Uh, so we launched it on uh, 12 uh, different exchanges, uh, including some of the top exchanges globally, like Ruby Global, uh, OKX, uh, Qcoin. They listed the token. It's already trading uh, right now in uh, 14 different exchanges. Uh, the first day trade volume was around $100 million. Uh, so the token is doing really, really well. We are about to integrate it on the app and release it uh, around end of this month. Um, so that will bring around 30 million users of Chingari on chain, uh, you know, on Solana blockchain. Uh, so I uh, post that uh, the other entire year's roadmap uh, where we will build, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the token uh, in various features of Chingari app. So everything that you do on Chingari today where uh, you could have paid using Fiat will be actually done using the Gari, uh, Gari tokens. So, um, and, uh, you know, that will be the real utility of Gari uh, and millions of users will be uh, using it. Right, interesting, uh, you know, plans out there. But I want to talk a little bit about what the core uh, uh, video platform business uh, has, uh, you know, in store for in 2022. If you could run us to what kind of features, uh, you know, design that you plan to launch uh, in the year forward? Sure. So Chingari is primarily a short video app. Uh, the core, core of the product is short video entertainment where Users come to the app every day to consume short video, bite-sized content. Uh, while the other Web2 competitors in this space, let's say Instagram Reels or TikTok globally, uh, they monetize, uh, you know, using ads or using uh, uh, primarily using ads. Chingari has opted not to do that. So business-wise, we will be, uh, you know, monetizing using Web3 business models like NFTs. So every video that you upload on Chingari uh, will be uh, maintainable as an NFT on Solana. And then these NFTs could be bought, traded and sold. So all the users uh, uh, who are uh, like all the creators of Chingari have now an opportunity to actually own their content by, you know, maintaining them into NFTs. So traditionally, if you create content on, uh, let's say, Instagram, Reels or YouTube uh, today, uh, you don't own that. Uh, Instagram owns it and they monetize that content and you know, they make money. Uh, whereas on Chingari, if you upload a content today, you can mint it uh, to an NFT and then you become its perpetual lifetime owner. So every time that NFT gets bought, sold or traded, you will make money as a creator. So that is a fundamental paradigm shift uh, moving into Web3, uh, you know, giving access uh, and ownership to your creators uh, is, is uh, in store this year. Well, that's interesting, but tell us a little bit about what kind of revenue model you have then, if, if this is not part of so the overall plan. Yeah, so every every transaction, these NFT sales, every transaction happening on, on Chingari via the Gari tokens, 5% of that will be our uh, revenue. So, uh, so if you just, just to give, give you a comparison today, uh, Axie Infinity, which is on a very similar uh, model uh, where uh, you know users get uh, users earn tokens and then these tokens are basically used within the app. And then there are uh, each of these uh, uh, like in-app characters are NFTs which are bought, sold, and traded. Axie makes like 4.5% of that. Uh, with their, their revenue from 2.5 2 million crypto users is around uh, 20, 20, uh, 20 to $30 million every week. Uh, so that is the potential that uh, Web3 business models have. Um, uh, so by end of this year, we just you know need a couple of million crypto users in the, in the Chingari app 
actively buying and selling uh, and trading these NFTs. Uh, and uh, like we project, uh, you know, 10 to 20 million dollars of monthly revenues from just these users. Right. Uh, that was my next question in terms of what kind of key metrics are you uh, tracking in terms of growth of users, the kind of revenue generation. If you could run us to what kind of short to medium term targets you have. Uh, so we want to end 2022 uh, with, with uh, at least $100 million in revenue. Um, we would be, uh, like the monetization would start by end of Q1. So let's say March end, uh, we will be actively uh, making revenues and starting to see, you know, users actually uh, actively buying, selling and trading these NFTs on the platform. Um, so uh, uh, other than the uh, like average downloads, retention, uh, we want, we really want to track the usage of Gari within the app. So uh, that's about to about to launch by end of this month. Post that, we will be having those metrics. Right. Uh, I also want to understand in terms of what kind of new uh, features will be launching down the line. Uh, maybe over the next, uh, say, one to two years, once you've integrated uh, these uh, cryptos into the app, how will this uh, work and what kind of new features will be rolled out? Sure. So there is a large roadmap. Uh, uh, so uh, the first thing that we are uh, launching is uh, basically, uh, uh, so the NFT marketplace is one, uh, you know, your uh, videos printed, printed into NFT is one. Uh, then we're also launching a audio rooms feature, which is basically, uh, uh, which is basically like clubhouse on, on uh, uh, you know, clubhouse on crypto. So you basically get crypto to create rooms. Uh, you, you get uh, Gary tokens to participate in rooms. Uh, then there are uh, there, there are a whole lot of creator economy features where uh, so a creator can basically go go live and say that hey, only my NFT holders will have access to this live stream. Uh, so that is a that is revenue opportunity for Chigari where we charge five percent of you know the transaction and the creator because he will. Uh, have access to, because he will be able to sell his NFT to users who want to access his live stream. Uh, so all these features are coming up. Uh, we have a detailed roadmap laid out, you know, for the whole year. All right, uh, Sumit, we wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we will be looking out for what the kind of new features and the kind of growth that the app sees going forward. Thanks so much for your time. Mm -hmm.